Oh, not first. We may need stop the show because there's people up in the air. Everybody that's up in a tower needs to get down or the show will not commence until you're down. At this point, I've been to more rock and metal shows than I can count. I get to go to numerous shows a month. I go as often as I possibly can. But there's one band I've seen by far more than any other band out there. I'm sure you can guess that that is, of course, Slipknot. And the reason for that is, is not that I just love the music, which I do, but it's also the atmosphere. It's not just the band. No two shows are the same, not just because of their performances, but because of the wild ass, crazy maggots in the crowd. It's one big rowdy family and you truly never know what you're going to see. I really can't even repeat some of the things I've seen at Slipknot shows on this channel because my video would get demonetized, but just take my word for it. If you've seen Slipknot live even once, you know just how crazy it is. So Slipknot made their grand return to Australia for Knotfest Australia. It was a very big success. You know, you've got bands that are really big in the US. You've got like country artists that are huge in the US. Slipknot is a global force. They go to continents all around the world and they have stadium sized crowds showing up. And of course they brought a lot of great bands with them too. But at both of the Knotfest Australia performances, the shows had to be halted unsurprisingly, but for the same reason at both shows. Some crazy ass Slipknot fan, apparently two different Slipknot fans, got the wild idea to scale a PA system that was very high in the air uh, and sit on top of it. And they had to call them down like a cat in a tree. And it was honestly hilarious. Now, even members of Slipknot do shit like this. You look at Sid Wilson, how he is even able to walk after some of the incredible stunts he's pulled and continues to pull. And of course, Mike Path, the great Tortilla Man, is bring in that energy as well to the stage, doing all kinds of crazy stuff. They're just, it's amazing to see them going as hard as they still do. But here are two separate Knotfest Australia shows where they had to stop the performances because crazy ass fans are scaling the PA system. I love the maggots so much. You guys, please never change. Two separate Knotfest Australia shows had to be halted after crazy fans scaled a PA system sitting atop of it, apparently trying to get a better view for the show. The March 24th Knotfest Australia in Melbourne had a fan sitting on top of the speaker for several songs before authorities had to stop the show and call them down. The fan eventually descended the tower and allowed the show to continue. Again, it's worth noting the fan was able to sit on top of that PA system for several songs. If there's video of that view, I would love to see what it looked like. A voice came over the PA system saying, hi, Knotfest, we've stopped the show because there's people up in the air. Anybody that's up in a tower needs to get down or the show will not commence until you're down. The fan made it down to the ground and he was immediately surrounded by security guards. The figure said, okay, let's make sure we don't do that again. The show will commence. Corey then spoke to the crowd saying, I can't take you crazy motherfuckers anywhere, man. Jesus Christ, got you climbing on shit, jumping off of shit, rolling on shit. What the fuck? That's fine. I can't stay mad at you. This is by far one of my favorite fucking countries in the entire world. I mean that. You guys helped put us where we are, and we've never forgotten that, goddammit. Thank you so fucking much. And then just two days later, Knotfest moved to a different town in Australia, but they had the same issue. A different fan scaled a tower while the band was performing Psychosocial, and they had to temporarily halt the performance. Here's footage from the first show with authorities calling out the person sitting on top of the tower and Corey Taylor subsequently reacting to it. Hi, Knotfest. We may need stop the show because there's people up in the air. Everybody that's up in a tower needs to get down or the show will not commence until you're down. Okay, 
can't take you crazy motherfuckers anywhere, man. Jesus Christ. You got your climbing shit, jumping up shit, rolling on shit. What the fuck? That's fine. I can't stay mad at you. This is by far one of my favorite fucking countries in the entire fucking world. And it's, I'm telling you, I don't mean that. You guys helped put us where we are, and we have never forgotten that, goddammit. So thank you so fucking much, man. Who says heavy metal's dead? Slipknot goes halfway around the world, and you see a massive crowd show up at two different cities. And they're going just as hard. You gotta love the maggots. Truly, I believe, the best fan base in the world. Going hard for Slipknot. I want to ask you, though, in the comments, what's the wildest shit you've ever seen in a Slipknot show? Share your stories in the comments down below. I really want to hear it. This is such a fun topic to talk about because there are so many wild, wild stories from Slipknot shows and just incredible performances the band has put on over the years. That's your latest update from Rockfeed. Again, if you haven't subscribed, hit that subscribe button with notifications on and check out the recommended video up on your screen.